Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft on the Irk Master server. That was a very strange intro, but yes, we are back. Uh, so, it has been a few days since my last video of any main series, which is which would be uh, War Thunder or Minecraft. Oh crap. <sighs> this is not a great start to this episode. God damn it. Uh, well, I, I did um, Yeo Gesser yesterday, and today it's Minecraft. It's gonna. War Thunder is gonna be back. Wow, I'm getting swarmed by enemies. Um, yeah, there should be should be War Thunder coming in two days or earlier. No, probably not earlier, but yeah. All right, we got 30 rotten flesh from that. Holy, holy crap! All right, so I have been mining a bit, and now we got some iron again. Um, I think we're gonna go and replace that beacon, or not the beacon, but the emerald blocks over there. I don't remember how many it was, but that should be enough. Um, we'll probably need to pay a, an iron again to uh, re-engage the beacon effect. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> welcome back to Minecraft. Um, so, Irkmaster has may ha has have made a a, ma a map a map. I cannot speak correctly today. Apparently, uh, we will check that out. Uh, very soon, but uh, first I'm gonna talk a little bit. Um, so I pretty recently realized that I'm not recording Minecraft really properly, though I have seen other YouTubers do this. Uh, it is not good practice to record Minecraft in windowed mode. Uh, it should be apparent in this video as well. It's there is black bars, not not very big ones, but there are black bars at the top and at the bottom of the video, and that is because I am recording in windowed mode and. It does not record the uh, Windows taskbar and whatnot, so therefore it is black bars instead. Now I could, I could put Minecraft into full screen mode and record it that way. It's just that I have never played it that way, so I probably never will either. I don't know, I don't feel like starting and it's not that disturbing or annoying rather um, yeah I'm sorting stuff I should really not do this I don't even know where I have my bones oh right here right um, and sand there we go yeah so as I was saying it's probably not that annoying. I mean, I didn't notice it until very late. Uh, but now that I have mentioned it, maybe you find it very annoying. Uh, I don't know. I just don't 
see the real uh, advantage in um, in recording in full screen. It's it's not really that big of a difference. But in other news, or so to say, ah, oh, we got two over left over. Uh, I have I have mined some clay. Should probably put that to use pretty soon. Though today I think we're gonna, for the rest of the episode, go around and check out some new builds. Do we even? No, we don't even need to. Huh? Don't even need to put in a new iron or feed it again. Wow. Okay. Everyone except for Eric Master is on, and that is not something that happens uh, every day, gotta say. Alright, so we're gonna go and check out the map now. Um, and go and check out the fancy new border I have on the map, that is. Well, <laughs> we've already looked at the actual physical border enough, I think. So, here we are. The new map that Irk Master made. Uh, so we got a couple of new things, except for my border. Uh, the most... Uh, the most noticeable one is this thing here. We will go and check that out later in this episode. Uh, it is not finished, as is nothing on this server, but almost nothing at least. But yeah, uh, Dark 8 has begun building on a new area, even though not f finishing this old area, not really even telling us the plans for this area, but yeah, so... <laughs> he has finally got a name for something in his country. So, there's a couple of houses, there's... Uh, I don't know, I don't know exactly how it is laid out, but... Yeah, there's, there's like three houses. There's one here, one here, and one not built yet here. Uh, at least it's not when I'm recording, or last I was there, rather. But th that is interesting. And he kept it secret, pretty much, all the way until this new map uh, was made. Only Eric Master knew where it was, or that it exists. Well, we knew it existed, but I don't know. I don't. I don't really uh, feel like going around and looking for stuff that people build uh, when they're trying to have it secret or whatever, or just don't want to tell you. Then they should be left alone. I say. But yeah, that is why this road or path is not connected to the rest of the path and it's inverted wood on the outside and stone in the middle <gasps> what yes uh, so yeah and uh, there has been some exploration uh, as you can see here this this white hole which covered most of this a large area like that it, it has been a lot of it has been re, uh, explored and there's an unexplored ocean monument there um, and you saw in my video there's also one here we will go to my border very soon uh, at Birchwood, uh, there has been some progress as well. No longer is there only uh, foundations everywhere. There's actually some uh, finished houses now, and he is um, he is working on getting a full beacon. 
And you know, on this server, at least, with my uh, wither skeleton farm, it is much easier to f uh, get that than enough iron or ores to actually complete a beacon. It's quite easy to get the required skulls. Uh, so this is my border. Uh, this was a couple of episodes, or a few episodes ago, I should say, where we started right here. Now, I don't... I haven't marked out everything, of course. One very important question, though, is who owns this island? We've already decided this that this one is a... does not belong to anyone. Um, so yeah, but this one I have no clue. I don't think we have spoken of it ev even, but logically it should be mine, right? Or nobody's. I don't know, we're gonna have to talk about that. Yeah, Laganda is a really big country now. If you remember before, uh, the border went, I don't know, over here, I think? Something? Or even closer. Um, so yeah, we have claimed all of this landmass. Uh, quite a lot over here as well. I'm pretty sure the old border was pretty close to here. Or I think it I think it went like this. I'm not sure though. And through the desert down to this river and you know, it went really close to Yaomimae, which was the main reason to move the border. Now of course I avoid the wet biomes such as the swamp. I stayed away from it. Uh well so here's the place where we altered the border last time, last episode. Uh, I claimed a little bit of this, uh, these plains because they were, they were th that, it was a uh, sunflower plains, so I wanted some of that, but up over here we got some new one, uh, some new uh, sunflower plains, so it didn't really feel like yeah, it d didn't feel like r right. I didn't want to claim like this anyway, so I changed it back uh, to the way I originally thought of uh, building the border, or at least pretty much. So we follow, we go right to the southern tip of this mesa thing, and we got this spe special uh, mesa biome. Uh, you can see how that looks in uh, one of my episodes. I don't remember how long it was. It was a couple or or three three episodes. Possibly you could even see it last episode. I don't know. Baya is a really cool biome, which is supposed to be kind of like the ice spikes biome, only with uh, uh you know, with hardened clay instead. And then we follow the river. And I thought this river went a pretty in a pretty good direction. Uh, of course, it w would not make much sense to not take this thing here. Like going around, I don't know. And then going back east, it does not really make sense. And here's the, I think, the uh, desert pyramid that I did not, or uh, that hadn't been looted, and this is the unique village that nobody had looted either, but explored too, which is really strange. <laughs> Again, follow the river, and at this point, this is the closest point to the original border which I'm 
pretty sure went something like uh, let's see went like this and through this river and then kind of a little bit down here and up over here so it's pretty close not very originally I thought of making the border go here but then Irkmaster found this uh, ocean monument and I wanted to claim it so we went back south a little bit by the way I forgot to mention this but that is the most southern tip of my country <laughs> just so you know and for some reason I began to marking out along the coast which doesn't really make much sense because an ocean is an ocean and it's pretty clear that the border will go where uh, the ocean starts but just to clarify I marked out uh, so that I own these small islands and I didn't really want to go that far east so right after we pretty much claimed this uh, monument for our own I went up here and we got this weird along the hill edge border style thing uh, we jump into the river which goes a pretty good direction but we have to go east again in order to uh, claim this uh, village could have claimed some mountains over here uh, ended up not doing that because it's so far east and then we follow some more rivers uh, and I wanted to claim a little bit further to the north uh, for a possible future city here somewhere here of course stay away from the swamp could have claimed mountains up here uh, close to East Sutan or well an island of East Sutan actually I don't know this is probably a river so probably not probably shouldn't be counted as a a island but whatever and here the border goes out into the ocean and that's my country very very large at this point I will not ac expand again or I might I will not expand any great distances uh, for sure we do have a lot of areas that aren't named for instance all of these villages I have begun a little bit uh, naming uh, these places for instance this didn't really need to be named but I named it anyway uh, this bay thing is called Sea of La Laganda and uh, I have also figured out a name for this lake which is I gotta l almost look it up uh, Akushi Fuku yes Th that is the lake so that that's it for the map this time uh, ah, ah, ah. Um, yeah there's also this place which we will go and explore later this is also a new build uh, but yeah let's go to some new places so off into dark eight land enough talk about the border I have talked so much about the border now it's ridiculous I will now shut up about the border uh, well yeah this is the new place that Dark 8 has been working on uh, it is called Yucatan I believe it is going to be a city in the end so, so as I said basically were or is three uh, buildings here and uh, naturally the door is made out of dirt we all know that Dark Eight loves dirt. Got a nice house here, mostly made up of wool. 
uh, very flammable. Would be a shame if it if it burnt up. Would be a shame. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we also have this house over here. Nobody knows what it's gonna look like. Nobody knows. Uh, and of course, typical for Dark Eight, he has chests with random crap in it. Always. We also have this main building, uh, or at least I think it's the main building. Uh, what looks to be a large storage room and a large expansion to the storage room. It wasn't this large before, I don't think, last time I was here. Um, but yeah, nice pattern in the floor. But, such a wasteful guy, this Dark Gate guy is. Guy, guy. Uh, look, this, there's three spaces in between the chests. That's like wasting two spaces. You could place the chest right here. Or really, if you would count using trap chest, he wastes three spaces. So I don't know. It looks nice, but it's not very efficient. Got another room here. Oh, oh, yes, made some progress. I see. Um, this wasn't here before. I'm not sure what 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 this serves as purpose. The, the things up here, but this is obviously a sorting system. Uh, Obviously swords there and armor there. Tools. Like, why would... Wait, why would you make an iron one? Alright, whatever. And then other tools and then bow and arrow. Ah. Oh man, okay. Uh, typical Dark Eight. Just random crap. Oh, well, actually, there is one bow and two arrows, but the rest is just crap. Oh man, <laughs> typical Dark Eight. And of course the workbench is everywhere. There is, there is something that Dark Eight and seven eight nine eight seven uh, shares. Cause they both do that a lot. Now obviously this is not a finished building or finished project. Oh yeah there's random furnaces and more chests with crap of course and who knows what this is random dirt and stone blocks and a random wood fence and random wood wood planks I don't I don't even know I don't who knows who knows what evils what evil plans he's he's got nobody knows and also there is yellow stained clay not clay glass <laughs> sorry <laughs> I meant to say glass it looks really nice I really want to use it myself more of the stained glass I just don't know where I would uh, use it but I think it looks really cool and modern wonder why he doesn't have it there. I guess it would be too much yellow. And by the way, I fixed his water here. It was annoying that it was not uh, water source blocks there. Alright, we are slightly south of Thrain. Graniton is right there. Uh, the thing we're looking at right there is Sun Plain Spire, one of seven towers that Eric Master is building, is or is going to build. And we will soon get there. Uh, but bef but on our way, let's talk about a thing. Uh, so 
you know, my two main series is Minecraft and War Thunder. Really enjoy doing both of them. Uh, but even though uh, my War Thunder videos get so much many more views, uh, most of the time 1.5 to 30 or 40 times more. Lately, they have been doing really well. Huh, there's an iron golem here now. Interesting. This looks really nice. It looks green, kind of. Like a neon green. Even though this is yellow stained glass. It's kind of strange. It's got some nice living quarters. And potion setup. It's a little bit similar to the last. Uh, what? Isn't there a roof? Or is it just clouds? I don't. I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, there's a roof. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, what? What happened with the roof? This thing is new as well. I haven't seen it anyways. It's a portal that is out of order. Uh, there's uh, another one in the nether. And the reason it's not on is because... Oh god, no. No! This is bad. No. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Ksukunes emero. Or whatever. Don't do it. Oh yeah, it's... The reason it's off is because it's so close to train. And we got this top place here. Can't really see much because of uh, so many clouds. That that direction at least. Huh. Well, that's the thing. That is the Arcasi stone. Haven't really... I don't think I have shown that in video. But yes, as I was saying, even though War Thunder gets a lot more views, I am going to prioritize that a little bit more, uh, as I have in the past. But especially now that it ha has gotten more views. Uh, but yeah, so I am still gonna continue uh, Minecraft though. What is this? A lot of chests. It looks nice, but I'm not sure if this is gonna be a uh, any coherent store, st uh, storage room or whatever. That is Sugin's tower. But yeah, <sighs> so I'm going to continue Minecraft because even if I don't record it, I'm still gonna play. Undoubtedly. So, I might as well just record. It is my logic. Uh, though it's not really that easy. Though. Because recording takes a little bit of time. But, let's go to the next place. We are rapidly running out of time, but... I guess we'll... Uh, for the last thing, check out this last build by Irkmaster, another giant thing, uh, Canton. A really large thing out in the middle of the ocean and a portal underground of course, to make it extra difficult to get here. And of course, hidden portal in the nether as well. Not exactly sure what this is going to be. Um, it is not mob proof by any stretch of the imagination. Oh god. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of sandstone. A huge amount of sandstone. And some clay. 
and some black wool. I don't know exactly what it, this is going to be, but if it is a, I don't know, city place in this complex. Whoa, let's lag spike. Ooh, that was close. Let's not. Let's not destroy this place. So yeah, the stairs up here and going up even further, I think. Really not the best place to visit. But man, this the the amount of time this guy this this Irkmaster Irkmas guy has is respect rather is uh, ridiculous. Wow. Obviously not finished. Probably not. Pro pro well, probably because of the amount of sandstone required. Uh, it is just a pain to work on, I guess. Really nice. But that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll do some more progress on something that that I have built uh, um, or start something new I don't know I might also check out some new places or I mean additional places like Birchwood we didn't go there but we are out of time uh, so I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching it